Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and yes, thank you for clicking on this video, and today I am in the kitchen cooking it up. Y'all know what I do, I do what I do. And today I will be cooking my famous bake ele spaghetti, yes, y'all know I speak French here and there, no, I don't really speak French y'all, so I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I don't really, I don't really speak French. But anyway, today we will be cooking le spaghetti, yes straight from Italy yes so let's get into it as y'all can see I'm already on it already I got my beef getting ready to brown my beef up that is what I'm doing browning my beef I got my water over uh, water water over there boiling let me go ahead and get my beef seasoned up here Right now, I'm adding a little spice, just a little, just a little bit today, just a little spice, you know, not nothing to make it hot, you know, but I am adding a little spice to it. All right, all right, got a little salt, all kind of season. Y'all season up however y'all want to season y'all stuff up. So, I got some onion powder, garlic powder, everybody going in here. Season it however you want to season your spaghetti, but get this beef all seasoned up. All right, baked spaghetti. I don't know if I ever. I think I did Dutch pot spaghetti before on my channel. I don't remember. I be cooking so much. I don't know what I done cook, what I ain't cooked. Sometimes I cook stuff twice. Oh well, I'm sharing it with y'all, showing y'all what I done cooked, what I'm cooking up. All right, let's get some garlic powder in there. Okay, all right, that's enough for seasoning because um, I already have my um, spaghetti sauce. I got the ragu chunky, ragu chunky tomato garlic onion sauce. That's what I went with today. I got two, two of those. Yep, getting this beef all browned up. I just wanted to come real quick and let y'all know what I was cooking. I will be back to show y'all. Y'all don't have to sit here and watch me brown this meat. Y'all know, brown your meat for your spaghetti. I'm going to get my noodles boiling. I got the water boiling back there. I'm going to drop my noodles in. And what I really want to focus on is showing y'all how I put the baked spaghetti together. Oh, let me preheat my oven. I'm going to preheat my oven for 350 degrees. Um, and I'll probably leave it in the oven for about, I mean, sorry, it's going to be cooked. I just want that cheese and milk. I'll probably put it in the oven for about a good 10 minutes, maybe about 10, 15 minutes. So the cheese and everything can join together, but I'll be back guys to show y'all how I put this, um, baked spaghetti together. All right, guys, I am back zooming y'all into my dish. Y'all know I love my pioneer woman dishes. So let me zoom y'all in. Because like I said, I want the focus to be on the uh, spaghetti, how I put the baked spaghetti together. It's easy, y'all. I don't do nothing fancy. Ain't all that. Just y'all see how I do it. So, um, I sprayed my pan a little bit. I always spray my pans. That's just, you know, what I do out of habit. And as you guys can see here, I have combined my beef in the spaghetti. Got it all seasoned up. And the only thing I'm going to do, let me get some room here. Only thing I'm gonna do is dump it portions at a time in my pan. Let me see. Make sure I can. Let me get this over here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Make sure y'all can still see the dish. Okay. All right. Y'all will see how I'm doing it. And one thing that I do, guys, I do uh, cut my spaghetti noodles so that they're not so long. I do cut them. Just a little trick that I learned. Y'all see, I'm just going to dump it in here. Let me move this out of the way and get my bigger spoon. It's kind of like I'm doing a lasagna. I'm going to put some spaghetti. Make sure y'all can see. Okay, yep, y'all can see real good. This is just how I do mine. I mean, I've done mine a couple of different ways, but 
this is the quickest way this is mostly what I do because it's quick and easy all right okay okay that's my first layer and I've got some craft Mal Cheta cheese and if y'all hear some cars going by, I've got my patio door open. I love cooking with the patio door open. I love hearing the cars ride by. I don't know, it's just relaxing to me. It's just relaxing to me. I'm telling y'all, cooking relaxes me. I love, love to cook. I gotta do a video one day where I'll tell y'all about how I did not know how to cook before I start learning how to cook. It was a hot mess. Before I had kids, I'm telling y'all, hot mess. All I cooked was chicken, rice, and corn. That's all I ever cooked. I'm telling you, I did not know how to cook nothing. <laughs> I definitely got to share that story with y'all. So, yeah, I'm just doing a little layer of cheese. We got a lot of spaghetti in here. Just going to do my second layer. Like that, easy like that. And you know what? I don't know what it is, but uh, putting the spaghetti in the oven, you know, and baking it for a few minutes, it just tastes different to me. And the kids love the baked spaghetti. They love when I do the baked spaghetti. And I'm just gonna do another layer of cheese. I mean, ain't mac and cheese, y'all, so I ain't trying to make it all cheesy like that. Some people do make theirs cheesy, but I'm putting enough layers of cheese on here, so I ain't trying to make it too cheesy. But, you know, doing I don't want to do too much, but I'm going to do too much. <laughs> All right, so let me put this final layer on here. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now. It can get a little loud out there sometimes, I guess, depending on who rides by. Let me get some more out because it's a little too heavy still for me to lift. Woo, I got my spaghetti all seasoned up. Got my sugar in the spaghetti sauce. Gotta put the sugar in the spaghetti sauce. And that's, that's a must. I think that's a rule. Is that a rule, y'all? <laughs> that, that's a law. That's a law. You gotta put the sugar in the spaghetti. That's a law, y'all. <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all know that ain't no law. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's getting all packed in there. Okay. I was worried about not having enough room in my baking dish here. All right. Let me finish getting the rest of the spaghetti on here, y'all. We almost finished with this. Okay, yep. Sit. Put that in the sink. Ooh, that's looking good, y'all. That is looking real good. I'm not gonna put parsley on it until it's finished. I'm not gonna put parsley on it until it's finished. Ooh, but that look real good. Mm-hmm. Can y'all see? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So we got everything dumped in. We go ahead and do the mild cheddar cheese across the top. Now I do have a little mozzarella cheese I do want to add to the top. But let me finish adding my mild cheddar cheese. Uh, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. I ain't trying to make it cheesy, cheesy. Okay. So let me move the mild cheddar cheese out the way. And I do have a little bit of the Kraft mozzarella uh, whole milk cheese that I'm going to add across the top. It kind of gives it that, you know, that lasagna taste, you know, when I add that mozzarella cheese. Get that all on the sides here. Making sure everybody getting some. Okay, yep. Oh, that look real cute, y'all. Okay, okay. All right, I got it looking real good. I think I might go ahead and put the parsley on it, y'all. Nah, I'm gonna let it bake. I'm gonna let it bake. And then I'm put the parsley on it. It just looks better when I wait for it to bake. Ooh. All right, y'all see it? Ooh, that looks good. It do look like lasagna, though, too. I'm taking y'all in so you all can see it. Y'all saw how I built that? Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Y'all saw how I did it. 
quick and easy. We did that in a few minutes. Y'all know it don't take long to fix spaghetti. And all I did was just throw it in my pan. I got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I'm um, gonna put it in there for about, maybe about 15 minutes, you know, so the cheese can melt. Cause everything already cooked. So the cheese can melt real good. So it can be all nice and cheesy. And oh yeah, y'all. Oh, I got some garlic bread. Hold up, hold up y'all. I got to show y'all. Back up, back up. I forgot to show y'all, I do have garlic bread. I have two, two of the Publix garlic bread. It is the long, uh, crusty Italian. It's so good, I love it. It's the Publix bread, you know, they nice long bread. They, they cook fresh. I got two of these. I'ma slice these up and put them in the oven. It says 400 degrees. It says convention oven, 450 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes. So see, that's quick and easy. 8 to 10 minutes. It usually takes like 5 minutes. But 450 degrees, y'all. The public spread, it looks so good. Oh, look at that, y'all. I got two of them. Because we love ourselves some bread. But I just wanted to show y'all that because I remember. I'm like, I forgot to show the people. Let me zoom y'all back in. I forgot to show the people the garlic bread. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. Let this cook. I'm going to get this garlic bread sliced up and get that in the oven too. And of course, y'all know I got to give y'all that word of the day. That word of the day that God has been talking and dealing with me about. God said, a lot of times we go through things and we don't want to share with people. I'm not saying you got to go around and tell your business. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, when we go through things, it is great when we help others by talking to other people about what we've been through. It helps somebody, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing wrong with sharing. We should share that it may help somebody. You never know. You, you know what I'm saying? You never know what you've been through. Somebody else may be going through or they, you know, they need some help. Word of the day. Share what you've been through with people. That it may help them. Never know. It can help somebody, y'all. Um, and make sure y'all uh, go over uh, to my spiritual journey channel. I have a second channel now. It is called Arika Misha's Spiritual Journey. I will leave the link in the description box below. If I if I forget, guys, it's, you guys go find it. I, I always have it all over my channel. So, Arika Misha's Spiritual Journey. Over there, it's just my spiritual channel. Everything spiritual over there. I talk about my spiritual journey growing up as a kid in the church. Things that I went through. Friendship, relationships, all kind of stuff. Dealing with church folks. All kind of stuff over there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm sharing my business. Y'all know how I be saying um, over here, I ain't sharing my business. Oh, over there, baby. I'm sharing business. Oh, I'm sharing the business. I'm spilling all the tea. I don't spill my tea because I like tea. But anyway, y'all. All right, let me go. And when I come back, it's going to be the grand finale. Me showing y'all the baked spaghetti coming up out the oven and the garlic bread. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. This is the grand finale. Let me take y'all in. Y'all got to see that baked spaghetti. Look at that goodness. I'm taking y'all all the way in. Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you, God, for the cheese. We want to thank you for the meat. We want to thank you for the pasta and the pasta sauce. God, we are so thankful for this moment right now. Because, ooh, this baked spaghetti looks so good. Ooh. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. Let me zoom y'all in again. Let me zoom. Just, just look at it. Just look. look just let me just take y'all across it a little bit. Let me just... Let me just testify for a moment. Ooh wee! Just testify for a moment. When I think of the goodness. Ooh. When I think of the goodness and all that he has done for me. Let's slide over to the other second testimony, which is that garlic bread. Yes. Testify. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Well, y'all know I'm a mess. We gonna end it right there. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, to also go over and subscribe to my second channel, Arika Misha Spiritual Journey. Yes, Lord Jesus. Bye.